Hi, welcome to Nourishment Connection. I'm Angela, and as part of my Getting Started 101 series, I'm going to briefly talk to you about sugars, sweeteners, because it's a hot topic. I'm not going to cover every sweetener out there, but just to give you an overview, of course everyone is familiar with cane sugar, because that's what we use the most. And this is inorganic cane sugar, which is still white sugar. The difference is it's not refined, which means it's not processed, so that's a little bit better, but it's still going to affect your blood sugar, it still causes you to gain weight when you eat too much of it, and it's still something that you should eat rarely in terms of nutrition. And brown sugar is in that category as well. Even when you buy organic, it's still high glycemic index, it's still going to cause you to gain weight, um, it still affects the blood sugar in the same way. So those are still the same in the same category even if they were organic and not refined. Then you get into fruit sugars like this, date sugars in the same category, and they bake well and they're easy to use and they sweeten well. Um, but fruit sugars still uh, have fructose, which for some people is difficult to digest, um, and they still can affect the blood sugar um, in very highly. So be aware of that. Your next category of sugars are where you get into the ones that are considered to be more on the low glycemic index side. Uh, honey, if you buy raw honey, it's more in the low glycemic index, so you want to buy the raw honey if you get that. Um, agave nectar, make sure you get a high quality agave nectar, it will be in the low glycemic index. Um, and when I say high quality, it means something that hasn't been highly processed or um, highly heated. Uh, maple syrup is in this category, um, molasses you can use in this category, and adding molasses um, to these sugars is what gives you a brown sugar effect. So that's good to know when you're baking, when you're not using brown sugar because it is high glycemic index, that's what I use. And there's also a product for when you do need a dry sugar because these are wet sugars. Um, there's pure maple sugar which is maple syrup but it's been distilled into a crystallized form. So that's helpful. Um, and in this category are also your coconut nectars. Um, there's coconut crystals, which are from coconut sap. Um, and it's also in a syrup form. And these are low glycemic index as well. They're not as sweet, which sometimes you want in your baking. You don't want as sweet of a, of a sweetener. Um, and they work in the same way that brown sugar would, um, like, your, like your maple sugar. Then you get into lower glycemic index with your rice syrups, your brown rice syrups. These are not high sweeteners, so when you use them in baking, um, they, they don't have the same effect if you're not used to baking with them. Um, I don't use them very often. You can see this jar is full. This one's less full because it's raspberry flavored, uh, but, but in terms of how they affect blood sugar, they don't affect it very much. Um, not to the same degree as these other sugars anyway. Um, but like any sugar, if you don't burn off the calories, you will gain weight. Um, and then you have the, the, the uh, stevia, the, the plant extract, which does not affect blood sugar at all. And this has become very popular because, because of that. So it's safe for diabetics. Um, the complaint about it is that uh, it sometimes has a, an odd aftertaste. So that's a brief overview of the sugars out there. Um, so if you see them, now you know what to get.